L. This is the new DCS grill with the uh, infrared insert, which can be bought as an accessory. Um, I don't really know why they create, why they bothered with this. I mean, the grill itself was very capable of searing on its own, but I don't know if it's kind of like a me too thing. There are so many grills out nowadays with the uh, the infrared zones. Uh, DCS has never built one in. They didn't think they needed one, but in any case, uh, I'm trying to get close to this uh, piece of meat here, but this grill is so hot right now. I measured the, the sear zone at about uh, close to 900 degrees before I pop this on. And it's actually cooking in a far more civilized fashion than the skirt steak was, which I put on. Yes, the skirt steak did have a teriyaki uh, marinade on there, so there's a lot more between the sugar and the fat, et cetera, et cetera, to flare up, um, which it did quite substantially on the middle burner. But this is actually cooking quite uh, in a mellow fashion. Has it been, and actually the interesting thing enough was that the the uh, skirt steak and the teriyaki marinade when it was really really getting out of control in the middle set of burners i did move them over to the uh to the sear zone over here and the flames kind of subsided so um maybe one of the reasons why they did this is they think it has better flare-up control i don't know but we're about to flip right now so uh, bear with me okay so i have now flipped the shell steak over we've seared it on both sides for three minutes each and i'm getting a bit of so a bit of some flare-up action again in the middle burner um, I'm supposed to be doing this one minute each side at uh, high heat, direct high heat. And the middle burner, which has actually been reporting higher temperatures than the searing uh, area, um, ha has definitely been having its, its, its flare-up issues. There's no doubt about it.